Hey everybody, in this video I'm gonna show you how to recover files from a computer with a crushed Windows using just the command prompt and a bootable Windows 11 USB drive. I have a separate video on how to create a bootable USB drive with Windows 10 or 11. I also show you how to remove your personal data in case you need to send your laptop for repair. So if your Windows was damaged due to viruses, a corrupted drive or whatever, and the Windows Startup Repair tool can solve the problem, you'll need to reinstall Windows. To do this, you'll need the same bootable USB drive. So first you can recover your data and then reinstall Windows. So plug in your USB drive, turn on the PC and start pressing the F11 or F12 key to open the boot manager. Select your USB drive from the list and press enter. When you see the Windows setup dialog box, hold the shift key and then press the F10 key to open the command prompt. For laptops, you may need to press and hold both the shift and F10 keys and then press the F10. Next, we need to list all drives and partitions. Type disk part and press enter. Type list, volume and hit enter. In my case, the only drives that have assigned letters are my USB drives. This is my 64 gig C drive and these are hidden system partitions. If the disk you want to access already has an assigned letter, you can skip the next step. If not, we need to assign a letter to this partition. You can use any letter starting from C, except those already in use. Type SELECT VOLUME 0 and press ENTER. Then type ASSIGN LETTER E, ENTER. Type LIST VOLUME again to see the changes. Then type EXIT. Now I have access to my system disk and its data. For example, I have very important files on my desktop in the projects folder and I want to copy that folder to my USB drive, which is the D drive here and it's empty. So let's go to the desktop. Let's switch to the E drive, then type CD to change directory, users, enter. Next type dir to see the folder's contents. Here's my user account folder and the same command to open it. This is where documents, downloads, desktop and other stuff is located. Let's open the desktop. And here's my projects folder. To copy your folder type x copy space the path to the source folder space then the path to the destination folder on your USB drive. The destination folder will be created automatically and can have any name. Then add these options for copying folders, subfolders, hidden files and files with errors. Hit enter. You'll see the number of copied files when the copying is finished. If the name of a file or folder in the path consists of multiple words or non-English letters, then you have to put that name in quotation marks. This applies to all commands in CMD. For example, let's list my users folder content and open the documents folder. I want to copy this finance reports folder to my USB drive. It's gonna be the same process with the only exception that we use quotation marks for the folder because it has two words. And it's done. In case you need to copy a single file, for example, let's copy this archive. Type X copy, then the full path to the file, and then the destination. Like this, the file will be copied to the root directory of the USB drive. And like so, in a newly created backup folder. Press the D key to create that folder. So let's open the USB drive and see what we've got. And all my stuff is here. And finally, I'll show you how to remove your data after backing it up. To remove a file, open the drive or folder containing it. Type del space slash f space the name of the file, enter. And the file's gone. To delete a folder, type rmdir space slash s space the folder's name, enter. Press Y and enter to confirm the removal. Pretty easy. I hope it was helpful.